This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. Good morning and welcome to All Saints by the Seas Digital Children's Chapel. I'm Reverend Amy, and while I miss being able to be with you all in person, I'm so glad that we can be together in this digital format. If you are able, I ask you to find a candle in your house and have a grown-up who's with you help you light the candle as we get started with Children's Chapel. Each week we light the candle as a reminder that God's light is shining in our world, in the dark places, and there's places where we're afraid, and there's places where we're sad, and there's places where there's joy and happiness and fun and love. God's light is shining everywhere, and this light is a symbol of God's light. So let's go ahead and light our candle with a grown-up's help. Now it's time to say our prayers, so why don't you center your hands in front of your heart to help us center ourselves for our prayer. And we'll take in three deep breaths, in through our nose and out through our mouth. I like to close my eyes when I do it, so if you'd like to do that, you can as well. Let's take a deep breath in through our nose and out through our mouth. One. Two, three, and now repeat after me. God be in my head and in my thinking. God be in my eyes and in my seeing. God be in my ears and in my hearing. God be in my mouth and in my speaking. God be in my heart and in my loving. Amen. And now we're going to hear the story for today. Today we're going to read a story called Maybe I Can Love My Neighbor Too. I live at the corner of 9th and 19th, upstairs in apartment 4A. A building is going up across the street. Week after week, it grows taller and taller, climbing up so high into the sky.
Mama, will all the new people be our neighbors too? I asked one day. Every single person is our neighbor, she says, whether they live next door or across the street or far, far away. I know I'm supposed to love my neighbors, but how can I love that many people, I ask. Mama gives me a hug. Oh, honey, she says, I'm sure you'll find a way. Maybe start by noticing the way others show love. A man walks by the construction site pushing a shopping cart that's stuffed with blankets and bags. The wheels hit a bump in the road and the cart almost tips over. But one of the workers moves fast to catch it and sets it upright again. Helping someone who's just passing by is a way to show love. Maybe I can love my neighbor too. Mama and I walk down to the park just like we do every day. I see a man and a woman up ahead talking to people while they wait at the light. I stare at the pictures on the man's arms while he tells Mama about people who had to leave their homes because they weren't safe anymore. Mama hands a few dollars to the woman who has a purple stripe in her hair. Giving money so people can have a safe place to live is a way to show love. Maybe I can love my neighbor too. At the park, an old man shout is, sh is shouting his dog's name, Shadow, Shadow, he calls. A boy runs after the dog to catch him. A minute later, Shadow is back with his owner. The old man says, thank you, over and over and over again. Helping older folks is a way I can show love. Maybe I can love my neighbor too. Mama, look at me, I shout, and she waves from the bench under her favorite tree. When I'm all out of breath, I sit at the edge of the sidewalk, sandbox, watching the other kids play. A girl tosses me a shovel and pail. Then we build the most elegant castle and dig a moat around it. We decorate it with royal flags made of sticks and seeds and leaves. That was kind of that girl, Mama says, when we're walking back home. I liked seeing how she loved her neighbor, and the neighbor this time was you. Sharing toys with my new friend is a way to show love. Maybe I can love my neighbor too. There's sand between my toes and Mama says it's time for the tub. But then we hear a knock at the door. It's our neighbors from upstairs and they baked a loaf of bread. Sharing good things to eat is a way to show love. Maybe I can love my neighbor too. At dinner, I tell Daddy, guess what? I learned something new today. That's what I like to hear, he says. What is it? Every person in the whole world is my neighbor, I say, and I can love them too. I could give my birthday money to someone who needs it more than me, I say. Or I could carry groceries or open doors for people who aren't as strong as I am. 
I pull up my sleeves and I show off my muscles. There are a lot of ways I say, I can be kind to other kids in the park or even bake something to share with people in our building. I knew you'd find ways to show love to others, Mama says with a smile. Every person in the whole wide world is my neighbor. Whether they live next door or across the street or far, far away. And I know I can love my neighbors too. And there's a picture of her giving something, giving water to the construction workers. She found a way to love her neighbors. Jesus tells us that we are to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. And so this is a wonderful book that can help us think about some ways that we can love our neighbors. I wonder what your favorite part of this book was. Why don't you share it with the person that you're with? And since God is so good and gives us an example of how to love our neighbors, when we learn about the ways that Jesus and the prophets have shown God's love throughout the ages. Why don't we sing a song in thanks to God? Mr. Robert, will you please lead us in singing God is so good? The story tells us about how good God is. Let's sing about that together. God is so God is so good, God is so good, He's so good to me. God is so good, God is so good, God is so good, He's so good. That was a wonderful story. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I'm Chaplain Allison, and it's and I'm really glad that you're worshiping with us today. I'm here in my backyard with my chickens and my dog Waffles. So we're going to get ready to have our closing prayer. So let's put our hands in prayer position. And have three deep breaths in and out to help us get settled in prayer position. That's one. So let's go another deep breath in and out. Help me, Lord, to love you more than I've ever loved before. In my work and in my play, God be with me through the day. Amen. And now it's time to change the light. Remember, we light the candle to represent God's light here with us. And when we blow the candle out, it doesn't mean that God's light and God's love 
go away, it means that it goes everywhere and it's inside of us also. So let's watch the light as it goes. Here it goes. It's moving everywhere. So, thank you for worshiping with all of us here today. And now let's sing a song. The candle reminds us that God's light is always within us, and we can let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm gonna let it shine. I'm going 